We've got some brand new little uh, snippets to look at, some new designs for Fairy Tale Season 3, and we're going to be having a look at one character that has already been shown before, but we have three that we haven't had a chance to see yet, and of course, you know exactly what, where we're going to be starting off first. We're going to be talking with the one, the only, the truest ride or die waifu that will do anything for you. We are, in fact, talking about uh, best girl, uh, Juvia Loxa. We do get to see a snippet of what she finally looks like on her. And I've got to say, like, when I was looking at um, the snippets, because they showed Grey and Juvia at the same time, and especially a little bit of how they uh, were in the anime, I was like, her facial structure does look a little bit different compared to, like, what we're normally used to seeing, like, with Juvia. Like, I think, like, normally, like, um, a lot with her, she was a lot more kind of, like... It's a very weird way to describe it, but it's like a lot of the um, uh, people in like season two like didn't have like the giant serious like sharp chins roaming around, which you do get to see with like Lucy. It's like, a lot more to like what akin to the final parts of the manga were, whereas like a lot of characters had less circle squishier looking faces, and these are more just sharp edges around the corner, like uh, for the corner. I feel like especially Julia is kind of the same on there. She, I, honestly, you see, just look at how happy she is. Like, it's adorable. Like, I'm, I'm there, it's like, I'm a weak man. A very, very, very weak fat man. And it's like, yeah, no, to me, she is adorable. She is precious. And I fucking can't stand Grey because wh why, like, you've got a girl that would literally do near anything for you. And there is one scene I'm very much looking forward to when it comes to the Alvarez arc, how they're going to really cover that with um, Julia. So I'm very, um, very much excited to see exactly how it is. But you can also see as well that these are all being done by the voice actors. So it's confirmed that she's uh, her Japanese voice actress is coming back, uh, obviously since like the show hasn't been airing. And I'm curious since like we've got the announcement now of like Jojo Part 5 and a bunch of these other series are coming back and we do know in fact that I have a slight sneaking suspicion that Crunchyroll is going to be getting the show back. I do wonder if we are going to have a simul dub for fa uh, for Season 3 for Fairy Tail because it is very like um, it is popular there uh, over here in the West and I feel like it would kind of make sense after, like, My Hero wrapping up as well, but, like, for, uh, for Funimation to kind of, like, handle a little bit more of this. So it makes me wonder if we are going to be seeing a simul dub. so I am excited about that. We will be, uh, obviously, like, talking about when that comes out. Next one we get to look is Loxus, and I know he's a personal favorite for a lot of people. We do get to see him roll in the original OG cloak, uh, a nice just purple casual shirt on there, looking ready to stomp some motherfuckers. Not too much that I can say. I think Laxus, out of everyone, his design has probably changed the least. He's still in the same design, considering that like he was less. I mean, he's prevalent in the manga like uh like continuing on but he isn't like a heavy mainstay like compared to some of the other characters like you'll be seeing more of Julia than you will be seeing of Laxus. you'll be seeing like more of the uh, say wendy and all that like becoming like sort of the main one of the main girls in the series like you you're, you're obviously going to be seeing them more there and it's like the little bit that i think Laxus and uh, the final part of the manga was probably one of the characters that came out the best I would say with who he got to fight so I that's the one where I was like I hope they don't change too much about that because that was the only one I remember that was pretty goddamn good and I'm looking forward to how they're gonna be uh, handling some of his really cool lightning techniques in this series because a lot of them were obviously like due to the fact of like the epilepsy warning and that was a big thing that affected this sh um, the later on with the sh uh, season two as well is that a lot of the shots were very much dimmed down especially when Laxus was coming into it because it's all bright lightning strike so it's gonna mess up a little bit um that they have to do that due to the fact of the you know warning because that's just by law that they have to do that so i'm very curious and lastly everyone's everyone's favorite punching bag slash i know some people like him but oh oh poor uh, sting we get to see uh sting over here and like again i've never been a huge sting fan i've never been uh, too big on sting and rogue at all uh for the most part but they, if I remember, like, how, what happened to them later on in Alvarez, I'm like, oh, yeah, they did have that happen to them as well. And it's like, you're seeing more uh, uh, a casual one. So you're going to be seeing him now taking up the mantle after, like, being being the new Guildmaster. So that's going to be very interesting. And, again, I think his, like, both 
like grades has changed a little bit. I noticed that. Like obviously Juvia, I thought was the most changed from um, what we've seen of her kind of design. And obviously as well, like she's got she's kind of combining like one of her very older outfit, like old Stark Grand Magic game outfits, and it seems a little bit sleeker with how they ch changed it. Sting, from what you get to see with him, is like he is season two. Like, there is a vast difference between, like, the very end of the original series, Season 1 Sting, to Season 2 Sting, and Season 3 is, it's just near Rebellion Season 2, st like, Sting design. Like, obviously there's a different, like, he hasn't got his uh, normal outfit on, he's just more in a casual kind of top and, like, a... Uh, shirt overs, but it's like there is not much I can say really for Sting. I know there are going to be people um, who is who are massive Sting fanboys and fangirls that are like, no, you can see there are some changes here and there that they did for him. But again, I know the fact that all the voice actors are coming out for the most part. Um, we haven't had any announcements. I know there was a couple of pastings of voice actors recently, and I think one of them. Actually, was um, it wasn't the voice actor of Igneal. I believe it was uh, one. I like to say it was one of the more minor characters did get. Um, I think their voice actor passed away recently. So obviously there are going to be uh, one of them changing. I do, I don't think it's Elfman, but I I honestly think it was one of the Sabretooth members that uh, passed away that we might get like a one or two bits of dialogue from. So. Overall, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think in the section down below. Who do you think come out the best out of these new little designs on there? Like, is it Grey? Is it, like, Juvia? Is it your boy Luxus? Or is it Sting? And uh, we'll be covering a little bit more of them uh, when time comes. But that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.